Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a new Minecraft video. This is episode 2 of Town Update on my favourite server, OmegaRealm.com. The IP will be in the description below, feel free to check it out. Come over on the server and say hi. So last time I did an update, things were different of course. I did also did a town tour as well, so if you want to check that out, be sure to, there yeah, should be a card above in the... Um, top right hand corner I'm pretty sure go ahead and check that out next thing is um yeah that's right yeah new shops that's right before we get started I have got YouTube rank look at that YouTube rank I am so happy I'm so excited thank you for the owner for giving me this YouTube rank I am so so happy and so thankful for it P time day. Come on. There we go. Alright, so let's get started with the new shops. The new shop system. Because before you had to actually give the item to the person. And on this server you have, we have Dropbuster. And what that basically is, is it wipes items every, every, um, every so many ticks, basically. So, this is how you're going to do it. So make your own shop system. You want to place your chest down, just like so. You want to place what you want to sell in there, close it, and then you want to place your sign above or in front of it, leave the top layer blank. If this works, this the, the plugin will automatically put your name above here. That's how you know it works. So the next line you want to put the amount you're selling, so you put one piece of sand, and the next line is the amount, so what we're going to type is B for buy. Now, if you want to sell, you put S, type B, space part, and then the amount you want to sell it for. So, I'm going to sell it for $20. This is, a, this is an example. The next one is the ID of the item. So, sand. And if you've done this correct, there you go. The name popped up. And shop successfully created. There we go. It's pretty simple. We're going to check out the new shops now. That's right. We're going to check it out. So, as of the new update, we have the new chest system right in front of us. Now, if you put a trap chest, a normal chest, and a trap chest, and a normal one, you can actually put chests right next to each other, which is pretty, pretty handy when you need it. <clears throat> so, you can still buy the chest pieces, but you can't buy the full armor set anymore, this individual pieces. Again, this is all the prices worked out. Like, if you want to work out why the chest place costs 240 you come here and say, oh, okay, one item you get is $30. So, you times that by 8 and you get 240 Anyway, you know, under the next shop. Okay, so we can still buy the um, the same tools, but it's all a new setup still. This is <coughs> items. Still buy items, which is out of stock. Now, if you're enjoying this town, you're liking it, feel free to smash that like button out. The goal is 10 likes. I know it's small, but we can do it. We can do it. Share with all your friends. And if you're liking this video and all my other videos feel free to subscribe that way you'll never miss a video from me so let's get in let's go on with it so the new new layout for the food shop is all this now it's pretty handy to have all these chests right next to each other save the room so if you come in here you'll see prices of all food will vary depends on how many nugga points it gives and saturation and how rare it is. If you don't know, this server doesn't spawn mobs. On the survival server anyway. There was a massive crash. I'm not sure what caused it. But now, mobs don't spawn. The only way to obtain them is by spawn eggs through boat keys. So, we got some apples. We got some pork. We got some beef. Some carrots. All the essential foods. Got some cookies. We got some bread, pumpkin pie, some carrots. Anyway, you know the drill. Let's continue off to the next thing to show you. So over here, a town member built these two pl mini player shops, as I call them. These are for townspeople to be able to set their own shop up and make money, basically. It's pretty cool. It's pretty simple. And I actually like the design of with a person done. So which is pretty well. It sticks with the medieval style town ish 
that I've built. And so the next thing is the church. Yes, look at this beauty. Yeah. Alright. So it's pretty tall. Taller than, probably taller than this building, of course. It's maybe same height as this building, maybe. Maybe just a tiny bit taller. This is just for aesthetic purposes, decoration basically. You don't know that actually doesn't serve any purpose. But anyway, who cannot have a church in their town? So you come up, you have the chairs, you come up here, and then you read the Bible and In the beginning there was nothing. And then the light of the Lord. I'm not I'm not sure how the Bible starts. Over here we get some Box. I forgot exactly what the, these are called in the church. Let me know in the description below. Description? I keep saying description. In the comments below, what what these actually called? I forgot what they're exactly called. But what these do is you come in here, close the door, and the Pope will be in the other end, on the other side, and you tell him your sins. Uh, so a cool, cool addition to it. Big stained glass all over the place to make that extra brightness into it. We went on to the next thing. Alright. So the next thing ooh, ooh, ooh. loading in the world is ooh, ooh. still what is going on? Seriously. Any reasonable amount of FPS. Anyway, right here is where I'm gonna build my house. It's gonna be huge. Of all the all the materials right here. All the stone here. And other miscellaneous stuff. So over here we have more plots to build. Cause this is my this is my way of doing things. Alright, I set them up with a diff specific type of block, lay them out, and then I use my my golden shovel to claim my land to where I want it to be. There we go. I claim up to twenty two thousand blocks ish. Last thing, last but not least, we are going to check out the new plots. Look at that. So we have one, two, three, four new houses in the new plots. Add a fifteen, out of fifteen plots. So if you're come, if you're seeing this video, come down to my town. I might be able to let you live here. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it for this town update. I've done a lot, quite a bit in the last episode. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, feel free to leave a like down below, feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next, uh, next video, bye! <laughs>